I've not even started this video and already <laughs> I've got a funny story to tell. I literally just parked the car and this old guy uh, was cutting his grass literally just across the road and he, uh, he asked me, have I come to fix his cooker? Well, do I look dressed <laughs> like anybody who could fix a cooker? I have no idea how to fix a cooker. Hello, my name is Andy. I am the village idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. And I'm back in Doncaster today. There are four civil parishes to go in the borough of Doncaster. This is the one, this is the only one on the western side of the town that remains. And I'm walking down a hill here where I'm gonna start this one off. And you might recognize whereabouts I'm gonna be stood in a moment because a, uh, a video that I put out a long time ago, very long time ago, ended uh, in exactly the same place. It's a bridge and it's a bridge that crosses the River Don. That's not the bridge, but you have to go over this bridge to get to the one I'm talking about. It's still quite a walk away, actually. There it is, in the very far distance. Welcome to the parish of Sprotborough and Cusworth. boat in here in Sprockborough was flooded quite badly uh, a lot of things were left underwater I don't know whether it's reopened yet um, I haven't been since uh, but I'll see if I can find an article about it online so you can have a read about uh, how the Don burst its banks here and caused terrible chaos to the boat in
quite willing to bet that you'll remember in the Wormsworth video how most of the properties around these old stone buildings are very similar here in Sprockborough. For example, this one here. And then obviously the church which is behind us and the various other buildings that look very similar. Okay, I'm gonna walk down here for a little bit. I don't know what's down here, uh, but uh, we'll see what we can find, eh? emerged onto Melton Road and as the name suggests if you were to carry on that way you would come to High Melton. We're heading this way though and we need to walk a fair way down here not uh, the entire distance but a bit later on we'll be going deeper into Doncaster because Sprockborough Village is only one small part of this parish it uh, covers quite a large area, including a set of housing estates just before you enter the town centre, believe it or not. <laughs> so we'll be seeing a few of those in a little while. Okay, uh, so we are pretty much uh, finished with Sprockborough Village. This is the kind of village that I could stay in for quite a long time, but because this parish is quite large, I feel like I have to move on because there's no there's, there's no real sort of 
point staying around too long when it's just mainly housing estates now that are left that I haven't filmed. However, if I have missed something here, then I'm sure you guys will let me know. But we need to move on. So time to hop into the car and we're off to a place now called Newton. All right, one thing I definitely did miss in Sprockborough Village, I didn't realize until I passed it, was the Methodist Church. So uh, yeah, there's one thing I've missed for definite. Okay, so now we're in Newton and this area of Doncaster is still within Sprockborough Parish. Uh, a lot of people around here consider themselves to be Sprockborough natives as opposed to Doncaster natives, I suppose. If that's how you'd call it, if that's, if that's what you call yourselves around here. Right, so it's basically one long road that runs into Doncaster and when we get to the end of it that's York Road uh, and then we need to go up towards Cusworth uh, to finish this one off. So what we're going to do we're going to walk down here a little way I'm outside Sprockborough Clinic and the Levitt School here we're going to walk down this road for a little while see what we can see it's mainly just housing if I'm being totally honest there's not really much else along here uh, but uh, you never know we might come across something of interest let's go Okay, so I'm heading back to the car now after a little walk into Newton. Now for this next bit, I want to try something new, something I've never done before. Um, I don't know whether this is gonna work, <laughs> but uh, I, I suppose you, you, you don't know if you don't try. I'm gonna try to attach the GoPro to the dashboard of my car, and I'll drive round into Cosworth to give you an idea of what you can see on the road between here and there. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so now we're leaving Newton behind. We're going over the bridge, which I walked underneath earlier. And now we're heading down past the Newton Arms and the clinic, which I filmed as well. Library. That's Sprockborough Community Library. The garage as well. Now 
Crassie Middleton Skips. Chinese restaurant. And we're approaching Doncaster Town Centre. Now on the left here, there is a road called Anchorage Lane. There's a, a rather large playground and park area up there. But we're heading for Cosworth, so we're going to omit that. But it's uh, on the left, it's sort of this point here. Somewhere here anyway. KFC you can see on the right. There's a big block of flats on the left. That's part of a, a series of blocks as well that are along there. Now we're at the roundabout. kitchens they're all on there and now we're approaching the junction for Cusworth Lane now I want Cusworth Lane which is this one here but it's kind of like a double junction because you can also access the road to Barnsley as well which is literally just there in front of us now but I need Cosworth Lane, which is here. So we're turning left onto Cosworth Lane. And I'm going to keep the film rolling actually for a minute or two. Because where I'm going to park in Cosworth is right down the far end uh, out towards Cosworth Hall. I'll just try and go a tad slower so you can get a feel for the area. Now, in a moment, I'll be passing a co op or what used to be a co-op, I don't know whether it still is, it's been a while since I've been here. But there is uh, a shop of some description on the left at the moment. You see, is it a co-op? It's about here. No, it's a Londis apparently. And then we have the Mallard, which is a pub on the left too. And where I'm going is right up at the end of Cosmic Lane little one-way street and we're going to park the car somewhere here and we're going to walk again I don't think I did too bad really there <laughs> I'm impressed with myself the camera actually stayed where I anchored it so that's good. I might try that again sometime. Right, let's get out of the car and let's go and have a look around this part of Cusworth, shall we?
right there's one more thing i want to feature before we leave this one behind and once again we need to get in the car but i'm not going to record myself this time <laughs> i'm just going to drive to the location so i'll see you in a few minutes And that's it. That's gonna do it for the parish of Sprockborough and Cosworth. Quite a large one. And uh, I'm glad that the little bit of filming in the car worked because I, you just can't walk around. You can't walk around a parish this size. You can't, it's impossible. You, you can walk around little bits of it, but you certainly can't walk around all of it. And uh, yeah, this is one I've been putting off for a while, basically just because of that. I do tend to struggle with some of the bigger ones because I can't plan a route very well and I always miss things. Um, but then again, I do that in small villages too. <laughs> I said that in the Ramsgate video. Okay, uh, but I don't think I've done too badly. I think I've got the main parts of this one, if nothing else. Um, so yeah, I think a good attempt. I think I'll, I'll say that about it. You might think differently, but that's up to you. Uh, three left then in Doncaster. Thankfully, the three that are left are not as difficult as this. They are big, but they're not as difficult as this. They are Thorn, Hatfield, and Stainforth. All three are in the northeastern corner of the borough. So, from Sprockborough and Cusworth, I've been the Village Idiots, and I'm out.